Yo, what's going on and welcome back to the Ultimate RTG and we are back with the series and we're back with even more signings. Summer signings, well, summer stars. That's what the promise called and it's going to bless us with two fresh Italians which also allowed us to go and fix what went wrong in that 3-5-2 setup. We were forced in the attack a little bit, Del Piero, Giovinco, Bellotti. It just didn't feel right one bit and especially with the release of Spinozola, it's now given us the opportunity to go back to a 4-4-2 and with a couple of changes in game this side has been playing so much better scoring a ton of goals i'll show you the highlights and then we jump into some live games and i've also got some packs to share with you these two i didn't pack but sadly spinazola is out now for the rest of the tournament and he's had a good euros run not just yesterday against belgium he's been really important for the italian team so a huge loss if they do beat spain and whoever they're to face in the final, like, I would prefer if he was playing, for real. But what a game yesterday. If, if you were a neutral watching that, really exciting. But the amount of chances, but what a goal from Insigne. That was nice. But 130,000 for Spinozola, 4-star, four, 6-foot-1. Four star, four star, and his in-game stats, like, what more do you want? A little bit more shooting? Well, you're greedy, because he's got everything else. He is absolutely amazing. And on the ball, you'd be surprised, even with his high, he spins and turns. Oh, I don't know how he does it. He feels so responsive. In fact, he feels like better than Locatelli on the ball. But this guy has been a beast, and I've told him to stay back. Medium, medium, four-star skills, 97 interceptions, 96 stand tackle. He's got stamina. He's got everything. These, like, summer stars or some... What, it's basically the summer heat promo. They've gone crazy with them. And they're so cheap. The market is not dead. It's it's dead. It's literally dead. No one's buying anything. The market is so good. If you got coins, you're going to enjoy the game right now. But if you're liking the series, thumbs up, show your appreciation, subscribe if you're new. And I do have those packs that I had saved, like 87 times 3, 81 times 7. And I packed some interesting players. Watch this. But it's another SBC. I can't afford it. I really need to stop doing them. Oh, oh! There! Who? He's tradable. Get rid of him. 60, 60, <laughs> 40k. Yeah. No one wants his ass. 40k, poor guy. He's literally discard. That is the quickest discard value player of all time. Anyway, FOF. Yes! Oh, come on. Come on, Italian. Danish. Oh. You know who he's going to play like? Very similar to Lindelof when he received that upgrade. I think that's how he's going to perform. Wow, that's really good. I know it's 87 times 3, but 90. Two of the FOFs, him again. Two at the time, packing those players. I was a little bit upset. I can't deny that. I just thought, like, with how good the lineup really is, and it gave us. Three to four cards that I just really can't see myself getting any use out of. Even Isaac, Modric, Locatelli, Spinazzola, 99 Messi and Ronaldo. Like, why the hell not? Like, they're going to sell packs for EA let to believe that. You better not be putting fever points on, you idiot. Who the hell is paying right now in July? You'd be stupid to do that. Use your coins, do preview packs, and see what you get. And in fact, we did another preview pack, and I pulled the left mid again. That I'm not going to use. But anyway, foot champs, we resume and we are playing really well. Like I say, the 4 4 2 setup was killing it for me. A uh, Locatelli, oh I can't really see too many flaws. I've only played like three or four games, but I haven't seen too many problems with him. And for the price, you literally can't complain. He's like 150, 160 now. And you look at all of the other cards on the game, you compare the stats, like. What the hell do you want? Like, what more do you want? If you have like a mil or a couple of mil right now in the game, you are loving life. If you don't, you're hating it. Because with the cards and, the, and their price, it's just such a nice time to sit down and chill. It's a shame that we don't get this experience a little bit earlier in the cycle when, when more people are involved and you can share that experience. Because a lot of people have stopped playing. But anyway, Locatelli, really good. Spinozola. Love the guy. I, I really am thinking that he is one of the better left backs right now that you can seriously go for. Defending was immaculate. 
a physical. I didn't notice like it, well, it's not a lack of physical. He's got some low stats there, but now he's six foot one. Uses that really well on the ball. He's so quick to turn. Like, I didn't really expect that with him because his balance is eighty two. He was just spinning left, right, left, right overlapping uh, very good in the air because he's like six foot one and he has like 97 jumping he is outstanding and he's under a hundred thousand mental i'm so pleased right stupidly i was thinking of doing uh tyranny why you know or tyranny why would you even look at doing those cards now and you compare them to what really is like the summer heat promo it's just stupidity and I did waste like a million, two million on some uh, other like SBCs. It probably was Forenzi. But Forenzi's been very, very good. I run him as the right mid. And then with this 4-4-2, like if you have the players that I've got in like every single position, you really can start piling on the pressure. You control games. And we were winning by like three, four goals. It was just clean sweep. Every single opponent didn't concede. I am yet to concede with the 4-4-2 setup. The only thing that this squad is lacking is Maldini, but I don't even need him now. So I've got Cannavaro, Zambrotta, De Cilio, Spinazzola in, in the defense, and Verratti, he needs a mention, boys. He is a class above. He's doing so much good for the side. I don't know if I want to be using him now as the attacking option or the one to stay back. Because in this setup, it was Spinazzola to be more of the defender, and I think that... Well, that worked, but I don't know if that's best for the team. But no, I just cannot believe the difference between the 352 to the 442. It has been absolutely amazing. And Italy are on some fine form. To really, not, I wouldn't say they dominated Belgium, but they controlled a large part of that game. 65, 70%. It looked like it was going in Italy's favor. A couple of half chances that Belgium did create. That Doku, he's, he's really good. And I noticed him in one of the other games, earlier ones, and I was like, who's this Who's this kid? He's fast, he's rapid, he's up for it. And yeah, he seems to be um, a youngster from, from the Pro League, from my understanding. Yeah, he is one to keep an eye on. Looks great, but not good enough. Because <laughs> they took an L. And Italy are now playing against Spain. Now, that is a tasty team. Acuna and also Jao Felix that I haven't tried. But look what he's done there with Nani. We will be doing that very soon with our Portuguese team. Uh, we, yeah, see, that's what he's got right now. That, we're we trying, we're trying, Suarez. Don't eat me. Um, good, Spinazzola. Lovely positioning from him. And going forward, is he going to start creating something? That speed, though. And that's the end. Babu as well, he's completely got away. Um, do you mind? Get him up. No, I... He's just jockeying in front of me at the right time. He's got that OP. Oh, Insigne. Love that. Insigne. I needed it. Against this guy, he is a wonderful defender. He's got his whole team, like, coming up. I don't even know where to head it, but Spinozola, he's found, he's found the man. And I was really praying that that would work. But this is where we can really start attacking and creating. Oh, lovely play. I need a second goal, though, in this game. This game is end-to-end. And he's definitely a much better defender than he is going forward because he just keeps trying to find these like one twos. And after a while, like just that pattern is easy to read around the corner. Locatelli. He's fast to carry the ball. I've got no issues with his pace. Going to cut that back to him. Locatelli. Oi, oi, oi. If that goes top bins, I'm loving it. What are you changing? It'd be nice if I could check the stamina of his players at the end of the game and we see really how much they've been affected because I don't think he's come off this press tactic but what a mad game genuinely that was just <laughs> hopefully it doesn't match us up against some nutter using 532 again do I put it in front of him there I'm gonna whip it whip it in what the hell is that come on all right so we try this again another header Another headed opportunity for Insigne. Okay, don't stop doing that. He obviously don't want to head the ball. He's just resorting to sitting back a little bit more. But he's got no choice. As soon as he loses it, I'm just sort of taking him out. Oh, El Shah. Like, as soon as he gets it in that, like, cam position, bang. Slap on him with, like, two players. Close him down well. 
So he's only had the one shot. So the midfield and the defense is doing their job. Making sure that we're not giving up too many opportunities. Really nice. Oh, go on. Got to create something from this. Look at that positioning. El Shah first time shots with his left are a no-go. Stop doing them. Hoof it up the line. Pogba. Oi, 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 oi. Listen here. Whoa, you haven't given that, have you? Oh, wow. Nah, that's something. No, something fishy going on here. That is such a bad call from the ref. Yeah, he has not got a clue with that one. You don't even show a replay. Of course you don't. That is outrageous behavior. Mental. Oh, Pogba, here we go. Nah, Pogba's got some mad penalties. I think... Would he have done the tactic and stay down the middle? He probably, he's probably is going to stay down the middle. Oh, Donnarumma. You're just the GOAT. Very nice. Go on, Elsha. Oh, I think he overextended a little bit there. It's going to be awkward to defend that. God damn. Oof. Now that is a goal. What a finesse. That's what he scored yesterday. Look at that. What a finesse from Insigne. Yes. Oh, good play. The host of really controlled possession. Ooh. Oh, oh, cheeky. I'll take another. Oh, has my PC gone off? Oh, no. It's uh, the screensaver. Yeah, we're still recording. Uh, is he going? Oh, yeah, he's left. Clean sheets are coming. So as long as we get one goal, two goals, then it should be job done. But Insigne, beautiful finish. Now, he has been playing all over the place. So don't really pay too much attention to the goals of the game. But now being played as a striker, I think that's what we were lacking. Someone that is just direct, nifty, good finishing, and 99 long shots. What a hit, son. What a hit. But Locatelli, yet to score a goal. But like I said, he's more defending and, and doing his thing. And Spinozola, hopefully you would have seen him in action uh, just being a beast. So, hey, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I want to pick up some more FOF or Summer Heat, Summer Stars very very soon but we're focusing on the italians right now and they're doing a very good job so thanks for watching thumbs up and i'll see you tomorrow team out peace